Hey, hey, what is up all you mechanical maniacs, here's Quasar here, welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Now, as I left you the last time, ooh, this is going to be rough, oh, that, that works. Uh, as I left you the last time, um, we are taking this uh, engine apart, this is the O'Connor Lancer right here. Is this small valve? Yeah, okay, okay, so far everything looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Um... So we're taking the engine apart. We're going to repair everything we possibly can with it. And then uh, we'll put it all back together, throw it back in the car. We have uh, we were able to, um, was able to, to get a few more parts for it. So we should be pretty good to go. Cam gear. I don't think you can repair it anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that's our plan right now, and that's what we're gonna go with. So how's everyone doing? I hope this video is funny, you all happy and healthy. Yes, it's uh, uh, this is gonna take a little bit of time to get this all broken down and taken care of, but it does look like, for the most part, um, all the parts and pieces. Oh, that turbocharger is twelve percent, so that's lousy. That's not gonna happen. I thought everything was gonna work. Everything looked good from the outside when I was looking at it. So we're going to have to shoot. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have to find another engine, and uh, that's going to be a that's going to be to bother. Man, uh, I, I looking at all these parts. I really thought I had everything going, and uh, shoot. Okay. So all right. So I guess. Guess we'll do what we can here and then we'll just move on to the bmw that we have parked in there uh, i did find another uh an another reasonable car from the, the auction so i had to get it from the auction uh i did get it with uh i had to say probably about 25k under underpriced so i took it i took all the parts off of it that i thought i was going to need and then uh Sold it. I still had a thousand dollar profit off it when I sold it after even taking a bunch of parts off it. So yeah, um, that was that was helpful. <laughs> that worked out really well. But that's that's what I have done. Okay. Let's get this. So far, we haven't had to do much with it. The turbocharger is is quite. Um, that's disappointing. I. I'm looking at the engine, the block, and everything. I was doing a nice study on it, thinking, you know, I think we're good to go. I think we can get through this and uh, be able to repair everything that can be repaired. And then, uh, well, you know the rest. Ooh, that crank is not looking good, though. So this might be a very short... Uh, Rebuilding this engine might be futile anyway, because the crank looks like it's in bad shape. Kind of hard to tell until I get everything else off here. Everything else looks like it's in a decent shape. So, the repairs on here will be minimum. And I think that cap is shot. No, it's not. How about that? Okay. What's the crank get? No, the crank's good. Engine block's good. Okay, so the turbocharger was the only thing that was messed up on it. So let's take a look here. Um, let's sort by name. Okay. Uh, where's the turbocharger? I don't have one in the inventory, but what is that? What does that little symbol mean? Maybe I do have one in a warehouse. That's maybe because I have one in a warehouse. It's repairable. I, ha I do have one in a warehouse. Woo -hoo! Thank goodness. That's good to know. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and repair up these parts, shall we? All right. So this is this is the deal with barn bargains and other cheap challenges. Whenever I buy a car out of the barn, I want to restore it back to its classic version of itself, meaning I put it back to its original color and all that. So we're not doing anything performance-wise on any of this stuff. We are just putting it back together as a classic creation. Uh, other things that I've done in the past was... Um, uh, uh, trash to track, where I take something out of, out of the barn, 
build it only with minimal parts and then take it to the track to see if I can make a good time out of it. Uh, other things I've done are uh, challenges like a $15,000 cha challenge, a uh, $20,000 challenge. Uh, I've done all those and been pretty successful with it so far. So I'm looking at doing some more challenges here in the near future. I just haven't, haven't decided what I wanted to do yet. Um, with this, I'd love to get this all taken care of. Look at this. <laughs> all right. So with that in mind, now if you take a look at what I have, right? I need to have, uh, let's sort by name, right? So these aren't repairable. So I have to go, let me get all these pieces bought. Like that, these pieces. Oil filter, ring, 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 ring. Piston, 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 piston. Belts. Chain. Turbocharger is repairable, but I can't. I've got one in the, got one in the storeroom, so let me go check on that. Okay, turbocharger I4B. See what I got here. Engine exhaust turbo. I4B. Yahoo! Ah! So, yeah, we are not dead in the water. We've got ourselves a turbocharger. There we go. Now we have all the pieces. Let me go in here um, to car parts and let me get uh, let me get all the things I need here. All right, so we need camp gear. Got that. Uh, camp gear. That. Camp gear B. Clutch plate. Flywheel. Two of those. Ignition coil. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go for those. Oil filter. Piston rings times four. Piston conrod. Four. Perpetine belt. Perpetine belt. those timing chain there we go now we can build this bad boy back up and throw it all back together here we go Get this crankshaft in I am amazed at the power steering because it looked like it was in bad shape it really did I thought that was that was going to be one of my downfalls for sure, because it did look like it was a pretty bad shape. You could pretty much tell if it's all rusted up like that. It was almost a given, but I got lucky on it. Got really lucky on this one. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, we go put this all back together. Check the gaps. I'm just kind of all over the place underneath here. Just trying to get it all situated. Yeah, with the Beamer, I had to go to the auction house to find a Beamer that was the same type of car. Um, and I did get lucky. I, I, I actually, I did get lucky with it. Um, so I'm very happy that I got, got it when I did because psh, I was not going to be able to wasn't going to be able to find it anywhere else. So the only auction was the only place outside of a barn. And I didn't want to give up on my barns just to go looking for it. So that was 
quite the achievement there. I was very happy with that, especially, especially getting at like 25 grand under budget, uh, under its, under its worth, which was a big, big bonus in my eyes. You know, I am uh, when I get, uh, when I got looking for cars in the junkyard, I'm always looking to maximize the profit off. Now I know, you know, in this game, profit isn't going to really matter that much because um, you're constantly buying and selling stuff. But I'm always that, that $1 million mark has been elusive to me. As you can tell, I have lost it on a couple of occasions just because I've been buying cars, stripping them down for parts, and then selling them off. Uh, because I've been doing that, I've been losing money. So, unfortunately, but it is just a, uh, just, ah, hang on. It's just a given fact that I have to, that's what I have to do to keep things going here in Quasar's Customs. Because otherwise, it's just not, it's just not what it should be. You know what I mean? Uh, in here we got fuel injectors. I don't have fuel injectors. Oh no! I don't have two fuel injectors. Ho ho ho! Oh my! So I need to find some fuel injectors. Yikes! I don't think I have any. I've been stymied by fuel injectors. All right, well, so much for that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we thought, here I thought it was good to go. Nope. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched, as they would say. Yep, so we are going to have to find ourselves some fuel injectors. Um, so I could hit, I'm going to hit an auction house real quick and see if I cannot find... Uh, another Lancer. I think that's going to be our... Oh, no, 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 no. I need one of these. Um, that on there. Okay, so I need two fuel injectors. That's it, right? Right, okay, so let's go ahead and take that off of the engine stand. Put that engine back in it. Um, let's see what I got here. Fuel rail and the pressure. I got that stuff in there too. Fuel rail. Okay. Get the timing chain on. Rod, don't have that either. Wow. Okay. So where does the fuel rail go? I have no idea. All right. So I am missing a few more pieces on here. Um. Is that a bad piece? Did I take that that gear off? Yeah, that's a bad piece. Um, chain's good, though. Okay. How oh, I missed that, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and grab that piece. All right, so the cover, definitely something that I should be able to put on there. I do not have a cover. All right. Okay. Um, interesting. Fuel rail. I've got fuel injectors, but no fuel rail. Can I not take one off of here? Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay, let's take this out because this looks like all this needs to be repaired. Let me go ahead and take care of that stuff. Thought it was taken care of, but guess not. All 
All right, so for the radiator, fans are good. All right, um, so we do have a few things I need to take care of. Uh, this is, I swear, it's Volkswagen stuff. Volkswagen. Brake booster. Did I not take this all off of... Yeah, I did. I think it, I think it has to have the... I don't have that cover? Wow, I don't, can't believe I don't have that cover. Huh. Um, interesting. I swear this all came off of here. All right. Um, hang on. back here. Nope. All right. I don't know what I did, to be quite honest with you. That is interesting. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put these pieces away and then um, just in case I need them. Uh, Connor, let's go ahead and put... Uh, Steel rail, it's a VW stuff. So is that engine a VW? I don't know. I don't know why I've got those pieces. Oh, wait a minute. There's those. Okay, so I've got that, that, that. Uh, should be able to do that transmission. See, I don't know why I've got these pieces. Uh, huh. I really don't know. <laughs> it's baffling me. Actually baffling me. Okay, so let's repair the transmission. We'll go ahead and put the transmission in. And then we're going to have to go out looking for another... We're not looking for another Lancer, I guess. Okay. Go. Now, I should have the wheels and tires over there already. If not, I'll probably have to do some repairs to them. Okay. That's all done. Uh, drive shaft. Exhaust system, I have to buy. So we're gonna take care of that real quick. Hey, why I why those pieces are missing are beyond me. Ah, uh, crazy! It is absolutely nuts. Okay, so let's see here. I think what I'm gonna do here is sell all these parts so I can make some money back off these. Yeah, I had repaired one, um, had repaired it, and I had to buy one. So I actually, again, I screwed that up. I should have just used a repaired one. Um, yeah. Oh, right. No, that's an injector. The injector has to go in. I think it goes in right here. But I think some other pieces need to go in first. So, um... Let's go see if we can find 2002 Lancer real quick. Let's see if I can hit the auction and get lucky. All right. Quality salvage cars. Let's see if I can find something real quick. We're not looking for anything to buy. Uh, this is a 2006. This is a time attack. Uh... Don't know if it has the same type of engine. We'll take a 
quick look. Um, it does appear so. Trying to take a look to see if it's anything worthwhile that I could try drag out of here. It does have a cover on the back of it. Uh, can't tell if it's got fuel injectors in it or not, but it does have the same type of engine. What is the auction price on this? 36. If I can get this for a good price, I may buy it, but. That's going to be only if I can get it for a good price. This is going to be the only one in the auction house, but this is the only one right now I'm bidding on. But I'm not going any higher than 36 on it. It's not worth it to me. I need to make a profit. Close. Hey, 34.4. So, <laughs> all right, receive car. Let's send this back to the garage. And then, right off the bat, let's go back to the garage. All right, let's grab a couple of wrenches. Pop the hood on this bad boy. All right. Uh, first of all, I'm looking for a starter. There's one right down there. I'm going to grab that real quick. Um,. Yeah, see, there's the fuel rail right there. So let's go ahead and take the fuel rail off. Um, it's good from the one I have, so I'm good with that. Take that off. Um, take that off. Take the vacuum brake off. That's where all the parts go. So I don't know why they were floating there and I didn't have this cover. Why didn't I have this cover? I'll have to go back and review the tape, for God's sakes. I have no idea. Um, this does not have any... Yep, it's got a few. Well, there we go. Okay, 48%. 50%. 41 percent go. Alright, so I've got these pieces. I need to at least repair a couple items here. Um, so let's go... Starter, I need to repair. Oh, I don't need to repair that. Um, need to repair a fuel injector. A fuel injector. Okay, so let's, let's see what we got here. Okay, starter. Oh, it's going to have to be from the top. That's right. All right. The Brian O'Connor machine is coming together slowly but surely, ladies and gentlemen. Let me squeeze down here and get that starter in. Okay. So get the other injector in. Other injector in. Yeah. See, that's kind of crazy. Um, I have the parts, but they didn't. That's just nuts. I don't know what the deal is with that. Anyway, um, take that, take that. I'll take that and that. Thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, take those two. Fuel rail is installed. Nice. I'm in cover. I didn't even look to see if I had a timing cover uh, in the, the warehouse, but that's all right. I've got these pieces here. 
And I think I'm good to go, right? Am I golden here? I am thinking... I'm thinking so. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces that I have from the engine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Engines and exhaust. So, injector, injector. Just in case I ever need them again, they're there. So, uh, and then what I'm going to do with this vehicle right here, I don't think I'm going to need it. Whoa, wait a minute. I've got some coolers. <gasps> okay, hang on. I can use the coolers. All right, so let's swap this around. Let's swap this around with the BMW. Okay. Big find. I need the coolers because that one doesn't have any coolers. All right. Take that off. Take that off. Take that off. All right. Let's go repair those. Wow, I hit the jackpot with this thing. Nice. I was able to get it under budget, under its worth. And I've been able to get enough parts off of here to finish up the O'Connor machine. Very happy. All right, so over here, let's, um... I need to clean these things up. Rims weren't in too bad of shape, but always that that little extra I could have I could have goofed them up. You know what I mean? So I need a two thirty five forty eighteen. Two thirty five forty eighteen. Two done. So we're gonna have this thing. Back together in no time. <laughs> well, we'll have this finished up today at least. Then I'll have to find a place to stick it out there in the parking lot. I've got to probably rearrange some cars around because I want to stick it back. I want to stick it next to the charger. At least, I think. Because um, it's all fast and furious kind of related out there. So, I'm going to stick that out there. Or I just may sell it. I don't know. So, wheels and tires. All right, and look at the coolers. Coolers. Oh, man. Scored on that deal. Did I not take it off the... No. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Okay, so right now, how are we looking with this bad boy? This is 100% all the way around except for parts. What is the one part that I'm... What am I missing here? License plate, maybe? Drive shaft. Do I have a drive shaft? Yikes. Down a drive shaft. Engines, exhaust, transmissions, drive shaft. Woohoo! On drive shaft. Okay, one drive shaft. Boom, there we go, 100% across the board, baby. Gotta put some fluids in it and run through a dyno test, but other than that, we are, we are golden with that. And because of that, we're gonna move this bad boy here. Um, I don't need a flashlight. We're gonna move this bad boy over into the car wash. 
The reason why I do this is just because if I clean the interior, it gives me a few hundred dollars more. So I'm going to clean the interior on this. I don't care about any of the parts on it. I am going to send, I'm going to sell it, right? And I still get a couple of grand or eighteen hundred bucks out of it. So cha-ching! So I'm making some money. Holy cow, I'm making money. Uh, I'm still lacking the one million dollar mark, but I'm still almost there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with fluids. And, you know, after I threw a dyno and everything else on it, it will be stock. But uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me. We finally got this thing done. So next week, we'll look at the BMW and maybe we'll do a different challenge just to mix things up a little bit. Because I think we've gotten kind of I've gotten kind of boring with this uh, classic creations craziness that we've been doing. I'm thinking it's time to mix something up. Try to give myself, I'm going to go back into maybe a $20,000 challenge and see what we can do with that. Um, all right. In the meantime, you guys take care. And I will see you soon. This is Quasar saying good night, everyone. And I'm out.